Hi Virgo, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, looking at July 11 through the 17th. This is one of those weeks where we're in transition with Venus, the goddess of love, and Mercury, your ruler, the planet of communication and clear thinking, moving, moving out of Cancer, your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes, and friendship into Leo, which is a completely different kettle of cosmic fish, your 12th house of past karma, subconscious, and self-renewal. So this is a time when you're going to feel as if you're having a bit of a Groundhog Day moment where you feel you're reliving things and you keep running into people from your past. Whether or not you want to, it doesn't seem to matter because the universe keeps putting situations and people and places from your past in front of you, whether it's on social media, whether it's in the supermarket, whether it's, you know, in the shopping mall, whether it's, you know, all sorts of crazy places. You go to a wedding and, you know, the most random person from your past shows up. Now, of course, it's all about self-renewal and about renewing yourself, seeing how far you've come, Virgo, seeing how far you have to go, maybe, and also realizing just how far that you, you have come, that you how much you've achieved, it's always, I mean, I shouldn't say it, but it's always nice when you run into people you went to high school with who are virtually unrecognizable and who, you know, for all the bluster in high school and the bullying that maybe they put you through and, you know, the talk of, you know, doing this, doing that, they're not doing much at all and they don't look like they used to. You look better than ever and you're doing all sorts of interesting things. But revenge is a dish best served cold. And that's why social media is taking the fun out of that because everything is so highly documented now that everyone knows what you're doing. So try and keep some things off so that if you do run into people from your past, you have something to give them a bit of a blast with because there's nothing better. Now Mars, the planet of energy, remains in your third house of communication and planning. So if you are thinking about traveling, if you're thinking about going to visit your sibling or cousin, if you're thinking about approaching your neighbor with something, really, you know, handle it well. Don't be bossy, don't be, um, you know, expecting them to fall in with your every wish because that's not going to happen. Virgos, thanks so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to the Universal Psychic Guild channel and I'll speak to you again next week.